Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. I was just looking at the radar and I noticed there's quite a bit of rain well off to our west, but locally, it's nice and dry. Let's take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and you can see there's really not much in the way of green blobs at all across southeastern New England. Of course, those green blobs represent where the rain is and we don't see any right now, but we do see lots of clouds out there. Hurricane barrier cam looking on off to the south, showing those cloudy skies. It's cloudy at Oakland Beach as well, but dry. So if you're headed Oakland Beach, no issues at all. Really any beaches this evening. It's fairly quiet. Temperature right now in westerly is at 69 degrees. They've got a wind light tending from the east southeast at five miles an hour up there in Smithfield. It's a good uh, what's that nine degrees warmer than down in westerly 77 degrees. They had a little shower around earlier in the day picked up nine hundredths of an inch of rain. They've got a wind tending from the south southwest at three miles an hour. Satellite radar picture showing where that rain is that I mentioned up here in in New York all the way down into Pennsylvania, a little squall line working through southeastern Pennsylvania headed toward Philadelphia. I don't think we're going to be seeing much in the way of thunder overnight, but it's possible a few rumbles uh, could work their way into our region. We've got a frontal system off to our south and west that's going to be advancing into southern New England, with an area of low pressure passing right overhead during the overnight hours. It's all going to help to enhance the precipitation overnight. We could be seeing a little bit of heavy rain, but I don't think we're looking at any flooding rains during the uh, overnight hours. I think most of that is gone by tomorrow morning when we wake up. Excuse me, we'll have a little bit of a, of a shower activity, but the skies will slowly be clearing out throughout the morning tomorrow. This evening, 70 degrees around 9 o'clock or so with an evening shower. Again, most of the widespread showers arriving after about 9, 10 o'clock or so. Taking you into the overnight now, 64 degrees for the low with rain, maybe a little heavy at times. Rumble of thunder possible, but nothing terribly widespread in that department. 82 degrees for Friday. We'll start off with clouds and a shower and then very slow clearing through the morning. I think we'll get some sun in the afternoon, but we're not looking at a bright and sunny day. Kind of a transition day transitioning into a spectacular weekend. Look at this Saturday and Sunday. Lots of sunshine, 86 degrees on Saturday. If you headed to the beach this Sunday, about 87 degrees or so uh, inland, 80 degrees at the beaches with warm sunshine. So a great beach weekend ahead. Monday, we're looking at some dry weather, but I think the clouds will tend to thicken up a little bit. And then I think we're looking at a little unsettled stretch for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday with the best chance of rain. I think on Tuesday with temperatures in the upper 70s, maybe a few showers around on Wednesday and Thursday. Be sure to download our new WPRI pinpoint weather app. You get live interactive radar and weather wherever you are for your iPhone, iPad, Android devices. Get it for free at the App Store or Google Play Store. If, it, if you're concerned about the rain tonight, you can download that app, track it, and you'll be all set. Absolutely, and nice work on the nice weekends. Good job. Looking really nice. Yeah. yeah, all right. New at 530, more coverage you can count on coming up.